All right, let's go to Alicia in Los Angeles. Hey, Alicia, what's going on? Hi, Dr. John. Thank you so much for taking my call. I'm hey, a huge thank fan. you for calling. I'm a huge fan of you. Of you. Of oh, my you. gosh. So what's up? How's it going? <laughs> it's going okay. Um, so my 31-year-old boyfriend was previously married. Okay. And I'm wondering how to navigate, I guess, conversations and expectations about his old wedding photos and photos with his ex, um, <laughs> which are still fairly prominent Are, they, are they on still all over the house? And um, on his social a media? Bit here and there. Um, he's taken them down, but just all over, you know, family and, and friends. And it's not just, you know, if you do a deep dive, you can find photos of anything. I mean, Dave Ramsey says that sure. Facebook is the devil, but, but I mean, it's right there when you click on it. So regarding his mom and his dad. Does so. he have kids? No, no kids. Okay. Oh, so his parents yeah. still have these photos up. Correct. Mm-hmm. Okay. Does he still have photos up in his house? He's got one framed collage with her in it. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, they were high school sweethearts, so they've got over 10 years of history. Mm -hmm. And I'm fine with, you know, a prom photo of your ex-girlfriend, but I feel like in this case, that's that's his ex-wife. So for me, it it impacts me a little bit more. Um, Oh, Alicia, you're not going to like my answer. Okay. Here's the thing. Let's I, hear it. <laughs> I can do one of two things. I can super lie sure. to you, and it would be way more mm-hmm. fun for me. Or I can just tell you okay. the truth. Which one do you want? <laughs> Absolutely the truth. <laughs> okay. So how long have you been dating this dude? A year, but we recently went ring shopping. So oh, it is gross. Okay. Serious. <laughs> so you went ring shopping. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ugh. Okay. So you say, like, you look him in the eye, and you get all, like, fluttery, and you say, I love you, and things like that. Y'all are there. Yes, we are there. Uh-huh. And is is he the one you're choosing? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're in on this dude. I am. Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm trying to be nice because you sound so lovely. <laughs> um, here's the thing. You're marrying her too. And okay. she's a part of his life. She's his high school sweetheart. She was his wife. They've got a decade in together. And one of the things that's going to be so tempting and so frustrating is that you're going to always know that she has 10 more years with him than you do. Mm. And you're going to have to let that go. Or you're going to drown the relationship in in competition, a competition you can't catch up with. Mm. Your job isn't to be the, a better wife or the better one or the prettier one or the one who like that. When you, when you, when you try to get into that lane, you put him in a situation that he can't possibly win. You force his family into this weird thing. My guess is one of two things, either he screwed up and they still like her. My parents like my wife more than me. There is no question about that. <laughs> Right. And my mom has even said as such, like, just, just so we're all clear. If I ever left my wife, she's able to go stay with them. I am not like, so we've had that conversation that will fade over time. Right. So who knows what's in their heart and head. If they're making a move, if this is like a middle finger to you or they're just 111 years old and they don't know how to take old photos. Like what, you know what I mean? Like some, some parents aren't that savvy. If they're not, they're not. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they are not fans of her whatsoever. Um, oh, okay. She decided to end the marriage kind of shortly in due okay. to differences in finances and not wanting to start a family with him. Okay. Um, so to them, you know, she broke his heart and, you know, we've talked about it many times. So they're, they're not huge fans. So okay. I'm just a little perplexed as to why, okay, why when I click on it, that's like the first thing that pops up still. I think it's more because they're a little more archaic and haven't gotten to updating the photos. So, so as a person, my wife, tells, my wife tells me all the time, like I was born in the wrong century. So the last thing I would think to do is to go change a photo on the internet. That's just me. And so what I would do right. if I was you is let the imaginary internet world be the imaginary internet world. Who cares? Okay. And if it makes you nutty, don't click on it. Don't go to their pages. And at some point when you're engaged or you're married and they say, why don't you ever comment on our post? You could say, oh gosh, because that girl's still on there. I don't want to see her. 
and you can laugh about it and they'll go, <laughs> oh my goodness. Does that make sense? It's, it's the spirit you're going to bring to this thing. And gotcha. it, it is this. She is a part of his life forever. She is. Mm -hmm. And you've got to mm -hmm. be okay with that. And okay. she's not a part of, she is not his wife anymore. You're going to be. And so you've got to rest in that assurance that he picked you. Mm -hmm. Ugh, y'all are ring shopping. He, he picked you. <laughs> well, you won. You won. Okay? Does that make sense? That makes sense. And yes. you cannot compete against her. That's not an event. That's something that's just going to make you nuts and make him nuts. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Oh, yeah. And it has been. Mm -hmm. it's so spot on. <laughs> well, I, I, if, here, here's a, a cool thing you can do. Two things. Number one, mm -hmm. take this poor little boy. And like how I did that, he's not. He's a grown old 31-year-old man. <laughs> take him out to dinner and say, I have been trying to size myself up against your ex-wife. I'm not doing that anymore. I love you, and we're into this thing, and I know that. Mm -hmm. And he's going to be weirded out. He's going to have moments when he thinks you're just going to break his heart because it's already happened to him. He's going to have moments when he misses her. He's going to have moments where there's a 10-year-old inside joke that he's going to lean over to tell you and realize, oh, you don't know that joke. that Because they went to high school together. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And you've got to go, it's not about me because he loves me and he's, I'm, I'm his husband. And spending time trying to go back and scorch her to erase all that, it's just going to just melt the guy, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. This is going to be tough, but you're going to have to be a grown-up about it. You're marrying a guy that's divorced. Okay, so you're, you're marrying all of him. And he's mm -hmm. probably going to be an amazing husband because he knows what heartbreak feels like and he knows what attention feels like. Is that fair? Mm, that is fair, yes. Yeah. So can you do that? Can you? Oh, oh I, I told you two things. Number one is take him out and say, dude, I've been competing and I'm sorry and I'm going to stop doing that. I'm just going to stop bringing her up. Mm. And um, okay. the second thing is this. I want you to write down on a piece of paper the things you feel in competition with her about, okay? She's pretty. Um, she's hilarious. Um, she was really smart. She had a good job. She made a bajillion dollars. She whatever, whatever. When you line yourself up, because I know you do that. I still do that mm -hmm. to my wife's old boyfriends, and we've been together like 25 <laughs> years. I mean, still happens. Um, and, and by the way, here's how I know. My wife and I have talked about, um, I had a girlfriend in high school that is still a close friend to this day, and she mm -hmm. said, for the rest of my life, she will always have five years on me. Does that make sense? We've been married mm -hmm. almost two decades. And it's that little wow. thing in the back. Mm -hmm. She's just like, ugh, she got five years on me. And of course, it's, it's like one of those half jokes, but half kind, of, half kind of true too. And so here's what I want you to do. I want you to write down the things you compare. Then I want you to put in a piece of paper. And I want you to mail them to me. And when you put them oh, in wow. the mail, that is you saying, I'm mm -hmm. done. I'm letting it go. I'm finished with okay. it. Okay. Okay. It's going to be a process that you do. And if you want to get a girlfriend together and y'all do it together and y'all can be mean and ugly and all those things, whatever, whatever you need to do, <laughs> write it down and mail it to me and just say, I'm putting it down. Okay. I'm done. I'm setting it down. Is that fair? Okay. Yes, I will definitely do that. If you don't think you can not compete with her, don't marry this boy. Okay. Because you're going to make yourself miserable. You're going to make him miserable. And your chance of success for your relationship is going to be very low. Okay. 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 Now I'm yeah. going to tell you the other answer. Okay. The, the, the lie okay. answer. <laughs> Let's hear it. Now that we got that one out of the way, forget her, dude. You should call her and just be like, you ruined it. And I've got him. Like do that. Is that cool? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, know what, like, I don't have a good go girl speech like in my heart, but that was the best I could do. Have you Thank talked you. to her? No, no, I've never, I've never, we ran into her once coincidentally on her birthday, um, in the city that they grew up in, but <laughs> did you size no, her up I, immediately? No, I didn't. I didn't know it was her. I was very confused at, yeah, it, it was. It yes, was you did. <laughs> you knew right no, 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 away. I, you uh, knew instantly because he went, uh, 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 uh. She was in a group, so I didn't. I didn't see her right away. It was on the water. We were, yeah, we were out on the water. And anyway, it was, it was a very awkward situation. <laughs> so here's what I want you to do as much as you can. As soon as you feel awkward, lean into it, lean into it and laugh. Okay. Even if it's awkward and you look at him and go, that's awkward. Or at some point he may call you the wrong name. Go, 
Well, that was awkward, weirdo. Oh, Does that make sense? Uh, Has that happened? Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. No, not yet. <laughs> not yet. Oh, yeah. you are so geared up for war. Let it go. Let it go. <laughs> you won. You won. You won. Okay. You're marrying him. He chose you. You won. Let her go. Let her go. There's something in, when you're working through um, anxiety, there's um, one of the things we do sometimes when working with folks who have phobias is this progressive desensitization where let's say someone's got a phobia about snakes. And uh, so they may have you draw a picture of a snake with a crayon. And you're just trying to put you in this position. And ultimately, we're leading to, we're going to show you a picture of a snake and feel your body. And then we're going to show you a video of a snake. I want you to feel your body. Is your heart rate racing? We're going to, we're going to do this over and over again until you can see a video of a snake and your heart rate doesn't take off on you. Ultimately, this leads to you're going to hold a snake. We're going to take you to the zoo. We're going to give you one, right? We're going to get over this phobia. So maybe you do that with a friend. Maybe you get a picture of her and you just see it. And then you get all fired up and angry and uh, and then uh, over time, eventually, you're just like, eh, whatever. Yeah, she's part of his past. She's part of his past. But he's lucky to have you. He's lucky to have you. Just, whew. hey, put him, in the, put him in the mail. Put him in the mail and send him to me. I can't wait to get him. Hey, she uh, is right that Facebook is the devil. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and by, yeah, don't go, <laughs> don't go on your loved one's parents' Facebook page. That should just be a rule. I'm going to put that on a John Deloney t-shirt. Don't go to your... L- husband or wife's parents Facebook page. The only thing that's going to be on that stuff is sadness and like weird conspiracy theory links and stuff like that. So yeah, stay away. Good call. Good call. 